Well, hello, my friends. I sure hope your week is as off to as, of as good a start as mine. I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Um, I've been up early today. Um, actually, my eyes are a little tired. That's why I had to stop and do a video. I got at it first thing this morning, Monday morning, and um, have been at it ever since. Um, so, after a little ice train, I said, let's do a video. Let's do a video for the day. Uh, I want to talk about my raw food journey, the stages, the phases, and the evolution today. I do videos every day, so if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you would take the time and hit that subscribe button now, and click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. Um, this video uh, kind of popped into my head. I was watching, um, I forgot how I came across, oh, I was looking for a recipe. I was watching a couple of old videos of mine yesterday, and then I started watching some other videos, and then I just started thinking about the process. Uh, you know, the course of this uh, five, June was five years, so we're talking July, August, September, October, November. We're talking about five and a half years now, and just the the various stages I've gone through, the different mindsets I've gone through, the way I approach this lifestyle <laughs> is uh, is pretty much radically different from uh, the way I got into it. Um, so today is not going to be so much my backstory. There's a ton of my stories out there. If you if you know if you search through my channel about the whole 30 years of being a derelict, uh, a drunk, uh, you know, basically just living an unhealthy life, but. Um, this is, I'm going to even just pick up with when I first came to this raw food lifestyle. Um, back in the summer, so like I say, the June of 2012. Well, when I first came to this lifestyle, I had a much different mindset on it than, ever, than um, I do now. And, you know, like, that's why I always try to, I'm, I'm constantly racking my brain trying to, you know, shape my videos, uh, share more content, going back and getting into that mindset of uh, how I thought, how I, what I was doing, and everything about it when I was in the early stages, you know, maybe trying to help others avoid some of the mistakes I made, or just once again, just showing you that full story, you know, just showing you how I've done it, and then you can make your decision. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. Uh, when I first got into this lifestyle, I can remember, um, probably, I don't even remember how long, I can't really put a time on it, maybe, probably at least a year. I was very um, into the whole, I don't know, like, uh, I got, vi well, first of all, about three or four months after I first started eating a raw food diet, raw, went raw vegan, uh, very high raw, my weight just plummeted, so I got super, super skinny. Um, I got down to the to you know I'm six foot two inches tall, so I got down to about 143 pounds, which at that height is just and that's ridiculous. I had not been a, in the 140 since I was a child, so you know I was just emaciated looking. Okay, when I first um, realized like how skinny I was, yeah, I got a little bit um, I got a little bit. Um, uh, uh, anxious. I mean, I was like, oh my God. It was like I, when I first kind of went to this lifestyle, I was living in a place, I guess, you know, the lighting wasn't great there. I didn't have great mirrors. I just wasn't paying attention. Then I came to the States for the first time, saw how skinny I was, and I was like, whoa, whoa, this has got to stop. But I, so what I did, I started eating, you know, just basically eating anything that was vegan just to put some weight back on. I ate a lot of potatoes with olive oil back in those days, just calories, bulk, weight get a little bit of weight back on. So I kind of got out of what I considered the critical zone, but I still, for the next two years or so, dabbled around in that range. I, I got sed seduced. Uh, being super skinny was very seductive. Like I say, for somebody that's kind of a, a you know, I've got bigger, th thicker shoulders. I've been a big guy most of my life, you know, in college, university, I weighed as much as 240 pounds, 245 pounds. I was 220 plus for a number of years, and I was like 215 for way even more years. So I've always been kind of a big, kind of hefty guy, you know. I've hit the gym and have always been kind of thick. So this just was interesting. It was kind of seductive. I got really skinny, and I would see myself in mirrors, and I'd be like, ooh. And I got uh, really fascinated with how small the pants I could wear. I wear, well, I only wear 32 now, but that's kind of vanity sizing. Like sizes aren't what they're meant to be out there. Sizes, all the clothes out there are sized now just to make everybody feel better about themselves. 
because I'm gonna tell you something. Even even now, we're at a comfortable weight. I'll have I have 32s that are still kind of loose, and I'm back up to about 165. So your mileage may vary. I had a couple of pair of pants that were 30, but I just got really into being so uber skinny. It was all you know. I watched a lot of stuff on juicing, and everything was detoxing and cleansing and juicing. And not taking in a lot of calories, to be quite honest. I juiced all the time, and I spent a lot of time juicing. Um, juicing takes a lot of time. Now, like I, this isn't to throw juicing under the bus. Let's just say that I kind of moved out of that phase to where, okay, well, juicing is a good thing, and I will probably still make a juice from time to time, but it's not, you know, it's not something that I'm going to live on. It's not something that I'm going to drink. You know, I was drinking for a while, sixty four ounces of juice a day. I was drinking two 32 ounce jars, carrot juice, various green juices, uh, lime, ginger, blast, what have you. So it was all about detox and I was kind of woo woo and I was lightheaded and all that kind of stuff. Um, and to be quite honest, I just wasn't comfortable in that body. And when I watched this video yesterday that was of a recipe, this was back when I was in the house in Playa Jaco, Costa Rica, when I was on the beach. And I was just so skinny, and I'm like, I looked like, a, you know, I was just feeble. Um, I probably have more gray now, but I looked like a little old man back then, you know. You could see bones. I was like bony around the shoulders and stuff. The ribs were like too prominent. Uh, so, yeah, I just did not, I didn't like that. So, um, you know, as the time went on over the course of the years, the, doing this lifestyle, I learned a little bit more. Learned a little bit more. Wanted different things. Um, even before I've met, you know, I've been, been making a push, been back in the gym recently, have been getting physical more, even on the mountain in the last year, year and a half. But um, I, yeah, I just got tired. I got tired of being uh, so skinny all the time. And also something too back then um, that I re realized, like I thought everything, like I was just, I was, I, I guess I had low blood sugar all the time because I was dizzy almost all the time when I stood up. So my first year on this lifestyle, even though I kind of leveled out, um, you know, going into, let's see, I'm trying to think of where I was after I'd been doing this lifestyle about a year. Now, after about a year, you know, I'd kind of leveled out on my eating. I wasn't doing juicing as much. I was starting to learn a little bit more. I was starting to, um, you know, I gained a little bit of weight back, but I was still kind of soft. So I was kind of in those middle stages. And I kind of went through those middle stages for a while where it was like, okay, well, you can still, even though I want to put a little weight back on, I had lost all the desire for doing um, the physical stuff, you know, like training, working out, all that. And I'm just, then I was kind of seduced by the fact that we could stay, you know, we could stay a certain weight, we could keep, maintain our weight. Um, without even any exercise because in the past it had always been about rededicating yourself and pounding out that cardio and burning calories and restricting your food and with this you could just eat you could just eat and you didn't gain weight so I enjoyed that but and as I watched looked through some old videos yesterday I noticed okay well w when you had a shirt on you looked okay but now you had put some weight back on but you just had no you had no definite you had no muscle you had no definition you were just kind of eh, soft all across so um, you know went through different uh, different different phases different phases along the way so after a while you know I go from being super skinny and um, lightheaded all the time every time I stood up and always you know kind of very emotional um, until I got started putting some weight back on then I decided you know I just started and as I watched more videos and was around this lifestyle more I said you know what these thick skinny raw vegans no offense to anybody but that doesn't appeal to me doesn't appeal to me I'm only talking about myself so if I don't want to be this thick skinny vegan raw vegan how can you know what can I do and also too after I started doing the uh, you know YouTube channel and have a little bit of a presence online I'm like well are people or other people gonna think like me are they gonna like ignore the health benefits of this lifestyle because they're not interested in being emaciated like so many are out there that's what I talk about sometimes and like I say not knocking anybody but I just really believe that you know that emaciated look 
is just not going to be appealing to the general public and it probably turns a lot of people off from wanting to try a plant-based lifestyle but once again before that person out there gets all upset or offended about that that's just my opinion and that's just for me and if, if you feel like doing something you don't necessarily need to shape what you do for the general public for me or anybody else but that was just that was just me so you know i go through the years and i'm still learning and uh there was a progression too and tanny raw helped with this one you know where i was eating just kind of haphazardly i would eat fruit and i ate a lot of um fruit smoothies back in the early days the first couple of years i still even when i didn't make the juices anymore i was drinking a lot of orange juice tons of orange juice then um, I kind of started getting on this concept of adding the greens in or, you know, it wasn't like I was avoiding greens before. I just wasn't really focused and paying attention to them. So, you know, f fast forward to about three years into this lifestyle, maybe. And I started religiously, you know, the, with the green smoothies and adding the greens during the day in addition to the salads or the soup, green soups or whatever greens I was having in the evening. And I, I've, I've no, I noticed a difference, you know, so I started um, incorporating that. I started having green smoothies fairly regularly, not like I do now. <laughs> um, and then the next progression was like adding a little bit of healthy omega-3 fat in there. I really like um, the way you, I feel like you absorb a lot of the greens a little bit better, some of the certain minerals a little bit better with a little bit of fat. Now, when people talk about, well, can you combine? Yeah, no, in general, no, I don't well, dig the whole combining fat with fruit. But when you're talking about chia seeds, hemp seeds mixed in with a smoothie, I don't have any problem with that. Um, so your mileage may vary. So, you know, I get back and uh, I get back into it. And within the last couple of years, so even though I've intensified it a bit, within the last couple of years was when I got back to okay, I'm getting a little bit older. I'm not going to be able to do this thing forever. I'm not going to be able to increase size, build muscle, do whatever. And I started getting to where, okay, I want to build back up again. Then that was the evolution into another phase. And then this is where I just let the dogs out. <laughs> and, uh, you know, for the past, even before I got back here to the States, had a gym to train in, I kind of started doing that on the mountain. I started eating a lot more um, I'm really, you know, every day I have spirulina, chia seeds, hemp seeds in my green smoothies. Um, I'm very focused on eating to uh, nourish my body for the gym and repair my body when I come back. Um, so as a, and I'm, I'm basically, and this is another video I'll have to do as a follow up to the one at the beginning of the year. I said at the beginning of this past year, I was 155 pounds. And I said, my goal was to put on 10 pounds of solid weight without you know being fat or looking like you're fat now yeah i could shred and lean out a little bit but i'm at 165 right now and i probably will lean out a little bit for the last couple of months of the year so but i'm still thinking i'm going to hit close i'm not a, i'm not fanatic if i have to get that 10 pounds i want it to be the healthiest 10 pounds possible but um i would say by the end of the year for sure even if i cut back a little bit and i'm one like 163 i'll put on eight solid pounds so that's what I'm focused on now, but not overly so, you know. Like I say, I do add a few things in there, and some people that are purists don't like that, and it depends, you know, your mileage may vary uh, depending on what your goals are on this lifestyle. Um, for me, I still don't get too crazy with it. Like I say, we need good omega-3, threes, uh, you know, to balance out the omega-6s in our diet. So the chia seeds, I think they're great. Um, I don't need to have that much. I have two tablespoons of chia seeds a day generally, sometimes two tablespoons of hemp seeds, my spirulina. But other than that, I don't make, I mean, I'm not into the whole, you know, I see a lot of the bodybuilders out there and I don't even know about those products. They mix all kinds of stuff in there. I'm not into that. So I'm still keeping it mostly natural. I'm, I'm, no, I'm keeping it almost all natural, you know, and, and but it's just it's easy now it's easy to get to the five and a half years down the road you can kind of do it yeah sometimes i'm like okay i'm a little bit bored with what i'm eating i need something new but pretty much i can just do it flawlessly without thinking about it so i can tell you this though um it's definitely been the best five plus years of my life i'm sure i'm not doing everything perfectly now but i'll tell you what i'm pretty satisfied with how i feel for a 53 year old that treated his body like i did for so many years so Anyhow, that's my journey. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it with or maybe able to take a little bit of something out of it today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again tomorrow. Love you guys. Have a great week and peace.